Hi, I'm um, trying to make this video a little better this time. Uh, my wife says I'm much happier if I talk about Madeline or Pokemon. So I've got a picture of Madeline down here and I've got a Snorlax uh, down here. So let's see if my voice is a little bit more interesting than if I'm just talking to a computer. Uh, the other thing is they say I go too fast. So in this video, I will uh, go at real time. All right, so I'm not going to edit it, and uh, please put a like if you prefer it that way. So uh, this will be interesting. So here we go. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to assume that you've looked at the video and you're very good with oxidation numbers and separating out the different parts uh, of this. So the, I've got the steps here. I'm going to just put a box up there and separate half reactions number one. Uh, this video is about how to uh, do separate how to balance redox reactions, which basically, if you get this, you've basically got all of standard level. So this is the final thing. If you can put it all together and you can get this, then you, you know what you're doing. Uh, so this is just one of four videos. I won't do an intro for the other three. I'll just go ahead and straight and do them straight away. So uh, the steps are uh, separate half reactions, balance the atoms of the oxidation species, write the oxidation states, balance the electrons, balance the charge with H+, plus, balance out the H pluses with H2Os and then add the half reactions together. So here we go. So step one, we have to separate out the half reactions. Uh, this one's an easier one because we don't have uh, too many extra things going on in here. Uh, and so if that's a zero to a minus one. And the sulfur here, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, that's a uh, I think I'll just ignore that until I get to the next step. So the first step is separate out the half reactions. So I2 uh, goes to I minus. Now I have to balance it. All right, so I've got two iodines on both sides and all of a sudden I've got electrons that have come out of nowhere. Uh, so two electrons uh, plus that. So I'm getting a little bit lazy. So addition of electrons, that must be a reduction. All right, so I'm just doing this a little bit quickly by um, perhaps jumping the steps there still. All right, oxidation must be the opposite. With the other videos, it's a lot more complicated. I'll, I'll, um, I'll stick to the steps a little bit more. All right, uh, so O2, uh, I'll write this one out. And I know what ox electrons are gonna be going off the other side because it's oxidation, but I won't worry about that for the moment. So the first step is to balance out the number of atoms on both sides. So I'll just use a green pen for that one. Uh, and so I'll put a two there. So we've got uh, four sulfurs on here and we've got four sulfurs over here. Uh, so the next thing after that is step uh, three, write the oxidation states. So this is always minus two here, except for the exception which is hydrogen peroxide, which is minus one. Uh, and so if we add that up, that adds up to a total of minus six, but we only want a minus two. So we're just looking for a plus four. And so that the charge on this one will be plus two. Okay, so likewise here we have minus 12. Uh, we really only want a, a minus two there. Uh, and so we're really looking just for a plus 10. And so divide that by four and that's 2.5. And so that does confirm there's oxidation going on in there. And so what we need to do now is balance the number of electrons. So I'll change the color, let's go to blue. And so what we have here is two of these. So we've got a total of, of four electrons uh, over here. Uh, and we've got a total of two electrons over here. Um, I'll just put these things in brackets. Uh, and so what we need to do is add two electrons on this side here. And now the electrons are balanced. So uh, next, the next thing is we need to balance the charges. And so what we have here is we have a total of a uh, four, four minus charge here, because there's two of these here. And over here we have a total charge of four minus. All right. Uh, and so that one's unusually easy because I don't have to do anything with the H pluses and the OH minuses. And, and so that looks like we're finished there. So I, I can skip the balance with charge with H plus and balance with H2Os. And I just have to re-add the equation together again. So what am I left with? Uh, Madeline's favorite pink color. Um, and so what I have is I can add them together. Now I can cancel out that. 
uh, and I can't see the pink, I'm sorry, so let's go up a yucky brown. Uh, and so we've got, we can write them out now, so I2 uh, plus uh, 2S2O3 goes to 2I minus plus S4062 minus. And that's the finished equation for the first one.